Here's what's coming up this week on 25. Where's our key cards? Hey, here's Zach and Jim. Here's what's coming up this week on 25. Hi, I'm Chris Ludy. Watch 25 Hot Country Cafe on Sunday night at 10.30 on 25 for you. Whatever that means. <laughs> Coming to you from the Melody Ranch, one of our country music showdown contests. Yeah, don't forget the finals coming up on Thursday the 28th. Don't want to miss it. We've got a great crowd out here tonight. Well, we've got our sweethearts of the radio, too. We've got Julie, Hi. and we've got Leslie, Hello. and we've got Sissy. Hi. Yeah, we're having a great time out here. We want you to come out for the finals. We're going to have a great time. Yeah, we got some great videos. Let's kick it off with a new one from Chris Ladue. Let's do it. Hey, coming up next is If I Ever Love Again, my brand new video on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe. Zach and Jim from the Wake of 100 Morning Show. And these are like our little uh, munchkins. Yes. <laughs> the we are the, the lollipop, lollipop kids. kids. Yes, that's right. And we got a double shot. Here's Darren Norwood's new one and Carly Carter. If I ever love again Hi, this is the Sax Man, Greg Sax, afternoons 3 to 7 on Waco 100. Time now to check out another hot new country CD. It's the brand new CD, The Cowboy Way. The music from the motion picture, The Cowboy Way. If you bought this one thinking that it's a country CD, you're going to be sadly mistaken. The only one you'll recognize is Gibson Miller Band's Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. Also, Travis Tritt is on there, and the rest of it is nothing but a rock CD. On a scale from 1 to 10, this is a 2. That's it for the Sax Man, and I'll see you soon. from Michelle right on 25 Hot Country Cafe coming to you from the Melody Ranch and we got the owner of the Melody Ranch great singer songwriter Johnny Lyon hi Johnny hello Zach how, how are, you, are you buddy fine hey Johnny what is this like 10 years to own the Melody Ranch 10 years now, now I can close it up and make it a paid hay barn <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what every time we come out here we have a great time and the folks love the Melody Ranch I love it I you know I've got a bigger one than Brian but I love this one that's great yeah, if you ever get down to Bryan College Station, it's the Hall of Fame. That's where you need to go. But anyway, come on out to the Melody Ranch. Johnny, this coming Thursday is the final of the country showdown. And we got a great group of singers. 
I'm gonna have both my daughters here for that. Hey, all right. All right. And I've seen your daughters. They're good looking. You bet. I don't know why, but. <laughs> Oh, there's one over there. Get her a picture of her. <laughs> there's one of your lovely daughters, and your name is? Amber. Amber. Well, That's nice Amber. to see you, Amber. Well, well thank you. <laughs> now, what's it like to have Johnny Lyons as a dad? Well, it's an experience. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, what I want to know is how you ended up going to Baylor's to the A&M. It's over a big fan, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> it cost her a, a Supra, a Toyota Supra. A Toyota right? Supra. <laughs> hey, stay with us. Don't go away. Pam Harris has country news coming up next. Up next. Hi, Pam Harris. Here's the latest in country news. Wayne Newton's creditors aren't too happy with him right now because he keeps spending a lot of money that he doesn't have. Their latest complaint, $300,000 worth of renovations to his trailer. He's already spent a lot of money. He's built a swimming pool, a hot tub, even a gazebo. He spent a lot of things, and his creditors aren't happy about it. Joe Diffie has to tell all during his divorce hearing. A judge has ordered him to list all of the names of the women he slept with while he was married. His wife is divorcing him, claiming he committed adultery. John Barry, Charlie Daniels, Susie Boggess, Tanya Tucker, and Chris Ledeer are getting together with actor Danny Glover. They're getting together and making a musical cassette called Banding Together for Literacy. Little Texas has to redo their latest video for their new single, Kick a Little. It was okay the first time, except for the fact that it was stolen. Clint Black's up close and in concert tours kicking off soon, and he's stopping in Waco, one of only four stops he'll make in Texas. Black will perform at Waco Hall September 10th at 8 o'clock. Tickets go on sale July 30th. Black says he wants to do more intimate settings and get close to his audience. There's limited seating, so get your tickets early. Listen to Zach and Jim tomorrow morning on Waco 100 for more information on where to buy your tickets. The next time you're at McDonald's, you'll get to order Garth Brooks along with some other country singers when you order your Big Mac and fries. McDonald's is starting a promotional campaign to raise money for charities. Yeah, that's pretty good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And here's a look at some country artists that are coming to Central Texas. On July 25th, Colin Ray will be at Dallas Alley Outdoor Plaza. On July 30th, Jerry Jeff Walker will be at Billy Bob's. On August 8th, David Ball will be at the Texas Hall of Fame in Bryan. On August 6th, Delbert McClinton will be at Billy Bob's. And on August 20th, Restless Heart will be at Billy Bob's. And that's the country news for this week. Uh, you missed the spot. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. No, over there, over there. No, over there. Don't spit on it. That's the latest from Mark Chestnut and She Dreams on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Oh, is it my cue? It's your cue. All right, Greg, say goodbye. Goodbye, Greg. We'll see you next week on 25 Hot Country, Country Cafe. Cafe!